so far, the baby deleted a video after hitting a bunch of buttons, and then my camera decided that it could not be located by my computer. So, take three. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth, and Baby Sloth and I are here today to talk to you about my weekend reading and what I intend to read over the coming week. So first, I did a buddy read with Fiona from Reads and Eats. Uh, if you have not checked out her channel or her brand new blog, I highly encourage you to do so. I will link both down below. Now, we read Irish Rose by Nora Roberts, and I think we both really enjoyed it. Uh, she finished before I did because I've got Roly Polioli over here. Uh, but we chatted and, uh, of course we both love Nora Roberts. So it was kind of a no brainer to buddy read that one. And it was great. The other book I completed this weekend was, uh, Aunt Dimity and the Family Tree oh. by Nancy Atherton. This is book 15 in the Aunt Dimity series, which follows Lori Shepard oh. and her family oh. as they live in a cottage outside a little village in England and Lori uh, finds things to get into and mysteries to help solve with the help of Aunt Dimity. I absolutely adore this series and uh, encourage all of you to pick it up if you like a good cozy mystery. Most of the time there's not even a murder. There's just all sorts of misunderstandings and thievery and skulking around and it's a good fun time. All right. I have three books I want to talk about that I'm going to try to read this week. The first one being Aunt Dimity and the Village Witch, also by Nancy Atherton. This is book 16 in the series, and I honestly haven't even read the uh, summary. I'm just going into it knowing that it's an Aunt Dimity book, and I want to read it. I have book 17 waiting for when I get finished with book 16, and then I'll start reading them in ebook or audiobook format. Uh, since our library is currently closed. All right, the next book I want to read is Dark and Deepest Red by Anne-Marie McLemore. This is following two girls, one in 1518 and one 500 years later, and uh, some sort of cursed magic dancing shoes, apparently. So, or 5,000 years later, actually, I think. It says five centuries la later, a pair of beautiful red shoes sell themselves to Rosella Oliva's feet, making her dance uncontrollably. Uh, I don't really know anything about the book, but I have heard a few booktubers discussing it, and uh, it seemed like a very interesting premise, so I thought I would grab it on my Whirlwind library tour the other day, trying to grab a few things uh, to read during quarantine. And then the final book I'm going to start this week, hopefully, is Sarah J. Moss's Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood. I honestly know nothing about this except that I like Sarah J. Moss's writing style, even though I haven't finished any of her other series, um, not even really far into any of her other series. I started A Court of Thorns and Roses, never finished it, and I've only read the first three or four books in the... I've forgotten what that series is called, but with Selena Sardothian, um, I've only read the first few of those. So I can't really say I'm a huge fan because I haven't binge read everything. But I did really enjoy her writing style and thought I would pick this up and give it a try. I've heard good things. Uh, Fiona's reading this one right now, so I will probably um, start sending her messages here pretty soon, even though we are not technically buddy reading that. Um, so those are the three books that I'm hoping to read. I'm also going to be starting my recordings for read-alongs with my students. And uh, since we're not going to be able to do the ethics essay that I had originally assigned to them now that we're doing uh, online learning, and they could do it, but I really want to be more hands-on with them while we're doing it. Um, they're not going to be able to get the whole shebang if I'm not... She thinks I'm over-controlling. Um, and our boss has said no research papers. So there's that. Uh, but I am still going to create videos where I'm chatting about what ethics 
really is, and then some of the different types of ethics and posing some questions just to discuss them. Um, my kids need to be writing, you know, some short answer essay type things, really four or five sentence answers, uh, but I will be making those videos. I won't share my read-alongs uh, or read aloud videos at this point in time, but if you are interested in the ethics discussions, let me know and I may go ahead and share them to this platform as well. So those are all the things I'm reading and trying to get done this week. I'm also going to try to write some. I keep saying that every day. I'm like, I'm going to write and I haven't written anything in a month uh, because this whole thing is just crazy. Uh, however, I am hoping that um, I feel like, thank you for not eating the books. Um, I feel like I've gotten to the point where maybe I can try to get my novel out and work on it some more and maybe I can finish it up in the next few weeks. Uh, that's probably wishful thinking, but you know, fingers crossed. Here, cross your fingers. Fingers crossed. We're hoping mommy can do some writing. Do you think you let me write? No, she doesn't think so, but we'll see. Big sister likes to chase her around in the walker, so I might get five or ten minutes here and there. Oh, no, she doesn't like that at all. All right, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you've enjoyed our hot mess video. Uh, let me know that y'all are doing all right and what you're working on, reading, writing, online schooling, distance learning, social distancing, whatever it is that you're doing. Come talk to me in the comment section down below. I can't wait to hear from you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.